Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is July 29th. This is my weekly shop update. So about uh, what a week ago, I was at AWFS in Vegas. And that was a fun show. Big thank you to everyone who I've met or who I had saw that I had met before. It's always great to, you know, put faces to names and all that good stuff. So big thank you to everyone who stopped by to see me at the Triton booth. It was nice to have someone to talk to instead of just sitting there all day. <laughs> so big thank you there. So first thing this week I want to share with you is, uh, what, about a couple weeks ago now, the, uh, the local paper put a little article about, uh, about this guy. I thought this was pretty darn sweet. So a few of you did notice the photographer that was in this video. That was a Samo video I posted uh, like two weeks ago where I cut through a whole bunch of steel with a few blades. So the photographer got into a few of the shots which was kind of funny, a few people noticed that, but they did a really nice job on the write-up. So thank you, Eric, for the amazing work on the write-up, and big thank you to Nicole, who did all the photos. It was uh, really cool to see this, like on a newsstand, flipping through things, and uh, that's pretty cool. I will leave you a link down in the description to the article on their website if you want to check it out and read it, but uh, I had to go out and buy an actual physical paper because uh, <laughs> that's not really something that just happens every day. <laughs> so in the shop this week I've been shooting a few of the spice box lessons so I did the video on making a spline sled for cutting the spline slots at the table saw and I also shot the video on making and installing the splines. So for the splines on the box I used both a table saw cut as well as a hand saw cut. For the table saw spline I used a thin kerf blade so I have a relatively fine spline for the larger size and then I used a dovetail saw to cut the splines that go around the larger ones. So that leaves me with a pretty cool look. I have the three large ones and then I have the smaller ones which aren't as big as the full size ones either so that's got kind of a pretty sweet look. I'm really Really thrilled with the way that turned out. Those are some pretty, pretty fine splines too. The thickness of a dovetail saw is pretty minuscule. <laughs> so this one here is ready for the lid to be removed. So that's gonna be sawn away from the box. But I'm going to be uh, taking a little break here and doing the alternatives box, which is gonna be a second box that has a few alternatives kind of thrown in there for anyone who wants to do something a little different than the default. So the alternative one is going to be made out of walnut crotch for the box and lid and that's going to have a veneered panel as well as a solid top as opposed to the glass top which will go into the standard box. So that's what I'll be working on filming next as far as the spice box project is concerned. The other thing this week is I got outside did a little bit of saw milling which is, uh, which is nice. I always love being outside and getting off my butt. So I finished up sawing the walnut that I had picked up about a month ago. I shared the, the thicker walnut that I cut a couple weeks ago. That was all about cutting thicker stock for like leg blanks and things like that. So with the walnut crotch all sawn up, that video is ready for editing and will be out sometime next month. I also finished up sawing the big log they had on there from about a month ago. So that's finally off of there and also ready to go. So that video is all wrapped up and is in post-production as well. So a few more videos in the works, which will be out shortly. So that's what I've been up to this week. Let's take a look at some viewer projects. First this week, it's a dollhouse by Max and his wife. They don't have a workshop, so they built the whole dollhouse in their apartment with just basic tools, like a circular saw, a jigsaw, and a drill. The house can be taken apart to be stored under a bed, and it features a rope ladder that they built themselves and a staircase which they bought and fitted to the house. It has LED lighting, and they also kept the offcuts for the door openings and I'm planning to build an actual doors with hinges in the future. Next this week is a table by Markin. It's made from an oak cookie from a neighbor's tree. The legs are store-bought cedar that are bent laminated. It's finished with a water-based polyurethane, and you can also find a video on making this table over on Markin's YouTube channel, so I'll leave you a link to that down in the description. Next is the trestle table by Connor. Connor and his fiance needed a larger table to host both of their families for Thanksgiving, so Connor set out to make this dining table. The table is made entirely from solid walnut and it's made with three mortise and tenons that can be disassembled and flat packed. Connor doesn't have a jointer or a planer, so he did all the edges and flattening of the top 
with the Restore Stanley number 6. The curve of the I-beam legs were cut with a scroll saw and refined with a bell sander and is finished with a few coats of armor seal. Last this week are a pair of nightstands by Floyd. The frame and top are made from cherry and the drawer boxes are made from poplar. The side panels are from some highly figured maple with the drawer fronts being some crazy figured tiger maple. The slats on the bottom are ambrosia maple. The tops and drawer fronts are finished with a wipe on poly and the rest of the piece is finished with tongue oil. So my last shop update, I announced the giveaway for the Orion 930 meter. This is the 950. The 930 is already with the winner. Congratulations to Will Windham for winning that. And a big thank you to everyone who entered. There was a lot of entries. And a big thank you again, or more thank yous to everyone who left some really nice comments on the entry page. And thank you again to Wagner for providing that meter for the giveaway. So a couple of announcements this week. First off, I will be presenting at the Woodsmith Workshop. That is going to be in September. It is the September 30th and October 1st. That's in Urbandale, Iowa. I will be presenting a course on, or I guess it's a talk on uh, working with slabs. And then I'll also be presenting the lunch keynote, which will be on milling your own lumber. So uh, yeah, check that out. I'll leave you a link to that down in the description as well. And uh, the other thing is we're going on a little family vacation thing. So tomorrow we're heading out. We're doing the whole five of us going out. <laughs> we're going to San Antonio for a wedding this weekend. So we figured we go a few days early, do a little vacation time. So uh, you probably won't hear much from me last the next uh, week or so because I will be enjoying vacation with my family. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's that. Uh, I think that's all I have for this week. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'd also be happy to answer your questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.